Hello, if you're watching the replay, this is going to be great. We are talking about leveling up your website today and really aligning with that six figure website before you become, or maybe you already are the <laughs> six figure photographer, because what I found is our website can really hold us back if it's not in alignment. And so that's what today is all about is how can we make some shifts to get even better and um, improve our website. So we do attract that client who is aligned with where we're going. And I'm hoping to make this first part pretty quick, like 15 minutes, so we can save the rest of the time um, after the 15 minute lesson for like dive into the reviews. I have at least six people I'm going to get to today and hopefully more. Some of you sent me your website links and I'm going to go in order. So we might end up doing more than six. We'll see. But thank you. Thank you. If you're here, I'm so excited for those of you who get your website featured. And even if it's not your website, you are going to learn so much. You're going to get so many takeaways today from just being here and, you know, going through other photographers websites with me. So here we go. When people land on your website, we want it to say I'm expensive, but worth it. And the reason I chose to say this is because I was working with a brand designer a few years back and kind of realigning my own branding and I was, it was like, I was having a hard time articulating what I wanted to like the new brand, the new version of me and how I wanted to come across. And then my, my designer, my brand designer said, Meg, I think I know what you want. You want to look expensive. And I was like, well, I mean, it's not that I, it's like, yes, I guess, because it's, it's like, I want to look, I want to feel good. We want to feel really good about our branding and website. And we want to be confident and feel really aligned. And we want to be excited to, to show everyone our brand and website and to send everybody to our website. Like that's the goal. If you're not feeling excited, it's like, there's a problem. And I hope after today, you have so much clarity on what you can do to feel really good about your website again. Um, so I just want to say I'm Meg. This is actually from the about page on my website. <laughs> I'm the, so a little about me. I'm a mom, wife, photographer, wander luster, margarita lover. I went from having 27 jobs, a failed business, dropping out of college to creating my own six figure business. And I discovered my passion for photography when I was living abroad. And now I've worked with over 300 heart centered entrepreneurs. When I'm not behind the camera, I'm a boy mom. I love traveling the world. I love margaritas. I love living room dance parties. And I love going to the beach. I love spending time with my family. I really value my family. And everything I just told you was like a really condensed version of my brand story that I've literally said a hundred times in a thousand ways, like, like, or a thousand times in a hundred different ways is what I'm going to say. And it's like, that's my about page on my website. It wasn't super long. I'll play it again for you. It's like, it wasn't super long, but it was just enough for people to, you know, really know who I am, feel connected to me. And these are my brand themes, photography, travel, mom, margarita lover. Like that's who I am as a personal brand. And I know you've heard me talk about this. You've probably heard me say I have, I've had 27 jobs, like a lot of times, but it doesn't get old because it's just my story. And I tell it in different ways. I tell different versions of it, but I do share it on my website because we are personal brands. Um, and so I just wanted to start by showing you that as just a fun way to introduce myself. And the intention of the website is I want you to book more clients. I want you to level up your website after today and take what you learn, go implement, book more clients. Um, because I know I showed this in like one of the emails I sent out, I wanted to add it to the slideshow and I didn't get a chance to finish the slideshow. It's okay. It happens. But, um, I just want to share some stats with you because I have them here on my phone of like why this stuff is so powerful and how this is going to help you book clients with more ease. Not that you don't have to market ever again, but it makes, it puts a lot of less pressure on your marketing when your website is doing a lot of the marketing for you. Um, you know, in the last six months alone, the last two quarters of the year, I had 19 leads that came from my website who filled out a contact form and said, I found you from Google. I found your website. And that's why I decided to work with you. 
And then versus like only eight coming from Instagram and nine coming from referrals. And these are estimates. They're pretty accurate. They might not be exact. It's from my honey book. <laughs> and uh, it versus a couple years ago, those numbers, let me swipe to 2021. So six months, a couple years ago, it's like, or sorry, <laughs> versus a couple years ago, I was getting like 43 from Instagram and I was getting only like less than 10 from Google every six months. So I want to talk about what, where the shift came and, and for me, it's been so supportive of me becoming a mom because I haven't had as much time to like put out content over the last few years while I'm raising two kids. And so I'm so grateful that my website has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me and it is booking high ticket clients. It is working. It is converting. I have so many clients that tell me like, I loved this thing on your website, or this really spoke to me on your website, or I read your story on your website, or like, I just, your photos, just the, the way you capture your client's essence, like, that's what I want. I had to work with you. And it's all because of my website. It's not something I said. It's not something I like. It's not a piece of content I made. Like all that works together holistically for our brand, but it's like without the website, it's like everything else you're doing could fall flat, right? So anyways, that's why we're going to talk about six mistakes you want to avoid. And we're going to go into portfolio reviews. At the last five minutes, I'm going to invite you to apply for Flourish. If you want more support beyond this, because in Flourish, we do this every month. You get a website review or portfolio review on one of your sessions or an Instagram review with me every single month you get this while you're in my mastermind. And so you can only imagine getting this every month over six months or more, like you're going to just like completely level up your branding. So I invite you if you're curious at all, just to apply and then I'll send you more information and you can decide there if you feel like it's a good fit. In fact, Dahlia, who's on here, can we drop? Oh, perfect. She's on it. I was going to say, can you drop the application link in? So she dropped that in the comments. So if you do want to apply, save that link, go there after our workshop, because I want you to be present right now for the workshop, and then you can fill out an application. So why website? I just talked about that. I think I covered what I wanted to kind of say on that. But, you know, when I, when I look at photographers, I coach their website, it reveals a lot of holes in your branding. It can reveal a lot of like red flags, if you will, of like what you need to really focus on with your branding and marketing that is like not helping you book clients. Right. Um, and it's like, I think as photographers, I hear all the time pricing, pricing, pricing. And I know this is like a big block for people, but usually it's not your, like your price being too high for people that's not actually why they're not saying yes. That's not actually why they're not booking you. A lot of times it's like our personal branding clients who are business owners, they will splurge and like hire you if your website and your brand is really speaking to them and in aligned with what they want. A lot of times it's not your price. It's it's that the value that you're showing on your website and how you're help, you can help them is not aligning with the price. So we'll talk about that more. But that's why we start with the website and your branding first before we go into like pricing offers, marketing strategy. So common mistakes. And I have to be honest, I just want to just want to put this all out there for you. I I didn't finish the slideshow. So there's like five on here, and then I'll tell you the sixth one. But yeah, just putting that out there. <laughs> okay. Your portfolio is repelling your dream clients. So this is the first block, the first like big thing I see when I, when, and we'll look at this today on the reviews, but a lot of times what I'm seeing is, you know, if one, we think portfolio is like just our client galleries or our portfolio page, your portfolio is every single photo on your website, every single photo you share for your brand as a photographer, every photo on your social media, that all makes up your portfolio. It's not just your gallery page. So we need to make that shift and start to look at every single photo we're choosing for our website matters, every single one. <laughs> so um, we want to be picky. And 
I also see like just too many or not enough personal branding photos. Um, and this can be like, sometimes you can have too many photos on your website, or sometimes you're not showing enough of a gallery to book your dream clients. There's a balance. Clients need to see enough work, but not be overwhelmed by like so many photos and then not showing a full session beginning to end. This is something I've seen on brand photographers websites. And the problem with that is that if I'm going to invest thousands of dollars into working with a brand photographer, I want to see what I'm going to get. I don't want to see two or three photos from one session. That doesn't tell me enough about who you are as a photographer. And the other thing I see is just bad photos, <laughs> like a lack of understanding of like what photos are important for the branding industry, for personal branding, because it's so different than families, portraits, other styles of photography, like what's going to get me to hire you is like knowing and trusting full confidence that you understand the type of photos that I need for my business. And I'm looking at your website to see if I'm going to get that. And then like the last thing is just, I think I, I kind of mentioned this, but showing, just showing too many photos. This is just a big one I see where it's like, you're not curating your photos enough. I've looked at so many websites where <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, take this out, add this in, take this out. Cause I see photographers that are not showing the best photos that could be booking them clients. And you'll see this when we go through the reviews, you'll get some actual tangible, tangible examples. So just a couple of shifts with your portfolio is less is more. You want to curate your best 1% of your images. You want to dial in your editing and lighting style because consistency builds trust. If you have different editing styles on there, different lighting, and they don't go together and it's all over the place, I'm going to lose trust really quickly and I'm going to click off your website. So it is something we have to dial in as brand photographers and then showing the full range of what you do. Like I mentioned, like not just showing like one photo of each client, but I want to see like 10 to 20 photos from their session. Like I want to see detail shots. I want to see horizontals. I want to see full body. I want to see portrait. I want to see what I'm going to get before I hire you. And then if you need to, if you're missing this and you're like, ah, I just started, I don't have all this Meg. Like I don't have a great personal branding portfolio. Well, then that is your homework. <laughs> like that is your priority. The next month is like, you need to design and create a portfolio building session so you can get these images because it's so important. That's why I started. This is like number one, like you need to have an amazing portfolio, number one. Okay. Um, so, cause the sooner you align your portfolio with the type of clients you want, the sooner you're going to attract those type of clients. You can't out market a bad portfolio. Like you can't outsell bad photos. Okay. And it's okay. There's no shame. Like I, you should see my first photo shoots. They're awful. If I put my first client photo shoots up on my website, like I wouldn't be selling anymore. I don't know. It's so important, you know? So number two I see is like trying to DIY your website design or your own brand photos. It's okay if you're guilty of this, cause I've done it too. Um, it's been a pain point for me, but look, 95% of the time as photographers, our zone of genius is not design. That is not our zone of genius. We might be okay at it. We might be pretty good, but pretty good is not good enough. Like pretty good is not like, we're not website designers. So we need to just realize that and make the shift and be okay with it. And I also see like sometimes people are trying to do too much with their design and it ends up being distracting from your photos. Remember, people are ultimately hiring you for your photos. And if your design is all over the place, colors, fonts, logos, just pretty little like fluffy things in the corner that <laughs> it's like distracting from your photos. We don't want that. Um, and like, sometimes when you customize a template, you get like a website template and it's so beautiful. And then you customize it too much and it loses its professionalism. It loses its allure. I see this all the time. It's like, it was a beautiful template if you just followed exactly how it was, <laughs> but like you customizing it completely throws it off. So that's it's, I see this so much. So I had to, I had to bring this one up. Um, and then like, same thing with your personal brand photos, like 
stop DIYing your own personal brand photos, hire a brand photographer. Like if you believe in this for your clients and you believe in this industry, then take yourself through your process and get a brand photo shoot. So you have incredible photos on your website to show that really are going to add to your branding and not like distract. Like you need every photo, even the photos of you to be incredible especially the photos of you <laughs> as a personal brand. Um, so this is just like, I kind of covered some of this just now, but yeah, I, it's like, don't DIY, get a professional shoot. Simple modern designs that are not distracting are going to help you book higher ticket clients. And luckily it's an easy fix by hiring a designer or getting a template. Okay. Number three, lack of clarity in your own branding. So if you're a lot of, a lot of us are, and I, I say us because I've been there. I've been at a place where I felt misaligned with my branding. If you're failing at your own personal branding and not practicing what you preach, it's, you're not going to stand out as much as, as the go-to brand photographer and clients are just not going to trust you as much because you're not practicing what you preach. You don't have your own personal brand to show. And so how can you call yourself a personal brand photographer? Um, and a lot of times I see on people's website, there's no mission. There's no brand stories. There's no values. There's no brand promise. And so instead of standing out, you're blending in and your brand doesn't feel like you. A lot of times I'm reading websites and I'm like, did like copy AI, right? Or copy or chat GPT, <laughs> copy AI, like did they just like copy someone else's website? Cause it doesn't feel like them when I'm reading through the website. Like, especially when I get to know photographers and I, and then I'm like, Ooh, girl, like you need to put some of you in your website. Like this, you're amazing. You are so special and unique. And if people saw that in your website and could connect with that, and they got that like feeling that I get talking to you through your website, I mean, they would book you in a heartbeat. Right. So, um, we have to do the legwork and start with our own branding to sum it up. And the other way this shows up with lack of clarity is being a generalist and like speaking to everyone on your website. I do headshots. I do corporate. I do branding. I do family mini sessions. I do this. I do that. And it's like, that's fine. But like, if I land on a specialist who specializes in personal branding versus you, I'm probably going to go with that person just because like they are, I know they have my back and I just instantly trust them more seeing that like they specialize in this. And so start with your branding. What's your why? These are great places to start is what's your why? What's your bigger mission? What do you stand for and against with your own branding? And have you taken yourself through your own branding process? So I actually have a bonus lesson. If you've signed up for the workshop officially, like on the landing page, which Dahlia can drop the link in the chat again for you guys, go ahead and just click the link, enter your name and email, because when you sign up for that, I'm going to send after with the replay, I'm going to send this bonus lesson. And it's only to people on that email list who have actually signed up for this workshop. So make sure you sign up for that and I'll send you a lesson that walks you through. It's one of, it's a lesson that I have in my mastermind flourish, but I'm going to give it to you that walks you through like writing your brand promise, writing your mission statement. Like it's too much to go into right now, <laughs> but like, I want to support you with this. If you're like, I know I have no clarity in my branding. Like, where do I start? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how to brand myself. Like, this is where to start is your brand story, your mission statement, your brand values. So that'll be really supportive for you. You'll get that. The next big, number four is pricing misalignment. <laughs> the next big, like, mistake I see and kind of like block. So this can show up on your website as overgiving when it comes to including like what you're including in your services. Sometimes I'm reading someone's services page and it's like so much information. And they're like, I have four options of how we can work together. Five options that I get so overwhelmed. And I also like, I think it's, I think when people do this, 
part of it is like, you're not feeling confident in your pricing. So you feel like you just have to like add more words here, add more stuff there, like overgive, overshare, convince someone to work with you, explain why they need brand photography. Our clients, like, yes, we can talk about the value of brand photography, but that's not why they're going to book us because we like say the perfect thing of why they need brand photography. <laughs> like it's, it, it's not it. It's they're going to book us if we feel confident, if they land on our website and, and they, com they have confidence that we can capture amazing brand photos for them. So is your website saying I'm confident, you know, is your website saying like, I am a brand photographer and, and I got you. And like, of course we have to say enough, but another like way this can show up is being too expensive or the value you share. Maybe you're getting your prices because you looked at all these other brand photographers in your area and you're comparing and maybe you did the numbers and you know what you need in terms of your price point to really hit your big goal. And you're just like putting it up there, but you don't even have a lot of personal branding experience yet. And it's not like the value of what you're offering is not communicating. It's not, there's like a disconnect. So it's possible like you are too expensive. And when I've like, it's like rare that this happens because usually you're too cheap. But when I've coached clients that are like, they're just charging a little bit too much for what they feel like in alignment selling. And then when they like lower their prices, they start booking like crazy. And then what can happen is like every three to five clients you book. And as you stay booked up and busy months out, of course you raise your prices and you can raise them really, really fast. And it can be a really good, like momentum snowball effect. You know, once you're like serving so many clients and building your brand. And so pricing is important, you know, pricing alignment is really important. Um, you could be too cheap to attract the type of client you want to serve um, and that you desire because our clients who really value brand photography, they probably have the number in their mind of like, you know, what they're willing to invest and they're happy to invest in the right person. They're happy to invest that amount when they find the right photographer. Um, and then I don't want to go too deep on a rabbit hole in this. Um, blessing, I mentioned something about this, like your sales funnel on your website. So I do see like photographers not having any pop-ups, not having an email list invitation, not having any kind of like a uh, way that someone can get into your world, jump into your world and have that next like level of intimacy with you, whether that's email list, whether that's your Instagram posts, whether that's sending you a DM, like we need to think about our personal brand as like a funnel, a sales funnel on our website. Even if they don't book that when they land on our website, what is the next step they can take with us? What are we inviting them to do? Like, do you have a pop-up? Do you have a freebie on your website? Um, and then like, I think I mentioned this already, but just a lot of over-education, like over-educating on your brand side of like, what's personal branding, why you need it, trying to like say the perfect thing to get someone to buy. And it's like, it's not really about that. A lot of like personal brand clients who are searching branding photography, they already know the value. They already know they need photos and they're happy to invest. They don't need you to educate them so much. A little bit's fine, but you don't need to educate them so much because then it, it kind of comes off as you not sounding confident in your pricing and what you have to offer. And like, instead of educating them, speak about, speak to their desires and pain points. That's a big one. So, you know, what are those internal desires, those external desires of what they really want and where they're at in business? And we can find that by doing market research. We can find that by asking, you know, our customers by listening and asking great questions in the sales process or on social media, doing polls and finding out exactly what they want or why haven't they booked a shoot yet? Why, like, why do they want new brand photos? Why are they coming to you when they already had a brand shoot? Like, why didn't they love their photos? Like we can be asking these questions and then you take those pain points and desires to write your copy. And then you're speaking to what they want. You're not educating them on why they need brand photography, okay? Um, and then stop looking at others for what to charge. 
Um, it's like, we can do the numbers. We can know that flourishing price of like, okay, eventually I want to charge $5,000 and do 20 photo shoots a year to hit my six figures done. But I don't think I'm quite there yet to sell the 5k offer and that's okay. So where do I, where can I start now to make sure I'm getting booked up every single month at this price point? And then I'm able to increase every three to five clients. That's kind of how I did it. I started at $200 a session and I went up to 490. I went up to 750. I went up to 990. I went up to two, um, 1250. I went up to 1550. I went up to 2200, 3300, now 5500. Like I slowly increased as I did, served dozens and dozens of brand clients. And I'm not telling you to start at 200 because I think that's way too low for anyone. So please don't do that. But please start higher than 200. <laughs> Um, a session, but you know, what do you feel confident in? What do you feel confident to charge and start there? Start, stop looking outside of yourself to figure out your pricing. Um, okay. This is where I skipped a number. I didn't add in the slides, but number five is actually like not feeling confident. And I've kind of talked about this throughout the lesson, but not feeling confident in your website. That's a big block and a big mistake. If you're just not feeling confident to share your website, to encourage people to go there, to text it to leads, like there's a problem. Okay. There's a problem. And we get to feel really confident and really proud of our website. And we get to decide, you know, what photos we want to share on there. Only photos we are like so proud of, right? We get to decide how much of our personal brand we share. We get to decide um, what we talk about on our blog, how we want to do that. So confidence is number five. Okay. Didn't have a slide for it, but confidence in your website and, and stepping more into your confidence by taking these little actions. One way is what you're doing now. This is a way that you can shift into more confidence. You're watching this workshop. You're taking notes. You're going to go implement some of this stuff. You're going to go work on some of this stuff. Maybe you make a list. Okay. From everything I shared today of like, okay, one through 10, here's what I'm going to focus on moving forward to update my website. And I'm just going to knock one out at a time. I'm going to do one a week. So in 10 weeks, I mean, hopefully two a week. So, so in five weeks, I have a whole new website. Okay. So, you know, what do you, what do you have to do to build your confidence? Um, and then number six is bad SEO or no SEO. <laughs> so I wish I had those screenshots for y'all from HoneyBook. Uh, anyways, it's okay. But it's like, I literally was getting no leads from my Google SEO for a couple of years. I was really just getting a lot. My first few years as a brand photographer, I was getting um, a lot of leads from in-person networking, posting on Instagram, tagging people, social media, friends, referrals, you know, and then it shifted when I started a blog. <laughs> so blogs work. They absolutely work. But it's not the only reason I started getting more leads. The blog is one thing which helps people find the website, but to actually fill out that inquiry form where now I get, you know, almost 50, about 50 leads every six months from like who actually fill the form out. That's my website doing the heavy lifting. It's like, yes, SEO is part of it, but everything we're talking about today is really part of like getting those leads in. And, um, you know, having no blog, having no Google reviews, no, no testimonials, no before afters. Like this is something I'm going to be, I'm actually redoing my website in the next three months. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. My website's great. I, I did it almost three years ago. I haven't updated it in almost three years. It's working great, but I'm kind of like ready for my next phase, my new brand. So I am hiring a designer and I'm going to be redoing this. And one of the things I want to do is put testimonials before or afters of client transformations. I have testimonials, but how powerful is it as photographers to visually see a client's brand before, a client's Instagram before, a client's website before, and their website after working with you, their brand after working with you. Like there's so much we can do like this as brand photographers. So there's an idea for you of like how to really make your website even more powerful of like a lead gen for you. Um, and also missing your location. So I'm going to call this out. If I don't see it on the websites today, we're almost done. We're going to jump into website reviews soon, but like 
you have to have where you're from, where you're based from. Even if you're, even if you want to travel and target like traveling shoots, you can say like based in San Diego and travels worldwide and you can target other cities and blog posts, but it's like, you need to have where you are located at several places throughout your website in order to rank on SEO. That's so important. And we're not going into a bunch of SEO strategy. You know why? This is not my my strong suit. This is why I hire people to do this for me. Cause I, I don't need to learn SEO. I it's like, I don't <laughs> like I've, I've hired someone who's an expert at that to help me with blogging. And I started just one blog a month when I only had $200 to pay her once a month. So I made sure I invested that $200 to starting my blog. And now I'm ranking organically top three on Google all the time in my city because of Google reviews, because of my SEO on my website, because of the blogging, really because of the blogging. So I, I want to encourage you, blogging's not dead. I used to think it was. Um, it's not. I get a lot of money from blogging. <laughs> so now it's like I maybe I invest a couple hundred dollars for someone to write blog posts for me a month. And that turns into thousands and thousands of dollars a year. Like this is where we get to really, I mean, the ROI I wrote is insane. It is. The ROI is insane. When we make the right investments, like into our website design, into our blog, into a copywriter, into brand photos for yourself, when you start to make these investments, the ROI is ridiculous. Like you're going to make thousands and thousands back. You're not losing that money. It's like you're trading that money. It's an investment to, you know, have a bigger return back. So this is a shift. I just want you all to really take away from today. Maybe screenshot this one. Um, six figure mindset shift is that you get to receive support from other experts. You get to receive support starting today. There were, it was about two years I wanted to start my blog and I didn't. And had I started it like two years earlier and just paid someone to help me with it, I would have had even more leads, even more clients. Um, and so like we get to receive support and start wherever you're at today. And the next shift is I confidently invest in my brand and business. I confidently invest and I'm all in. When you're all in and you're like, I know I'm going to have a six figure photography business. Like it's going to happen when you know that and you, you go all in on that vision, like investing, it becomes like no big deal because you know, you're going to be making that return back. So this was a huge shift I made in order to have my six figure website was getting support and investing, working with a branding person, a website person, a copywriter for my blog a VA who would help me put the blogs together with the SEO and help me like I'd give her the photos and she'd put it all together. Like this is the shift I stepped into in order to get there. It's like, we can't do everything ourselves. Like that only lasts for so long. And you might be spinning your wheels right now, trying to still do everything yourself. And you need to just like, stop. You need to stop trying to do everything yourself. You're not going to get anywhere. Or maybe you will get somewhere and it'll take a lot longer for you than if you just start getting support and start doing these things now um, and investing in, in experts who are going to help you move forward. All right. Now on to the website reviews. Here we go. I want to remind you too, um, a word about feedback. So for all of you who like courageously sent me your website review to link to review right now. I'm just so grateful. And I just want to give you like so much, um, admiration and just like, and, and props because it's, it's not easy to always receive feedback. Um, and it says a lot about your leadership. It says a lot about you having that growth mindset as a business owner, when you want feedback, when you're hungry for feedback, um, it's how we grow faster. It's how we quantum leap. We can only go so far on our own and maybe we can go far, but it's going to take longer. Right. So I just want to also keep in mind, feedback is not personal. It's nothing personal. It's not like anything I say today is not personal. It's, it's not saying you're a bad photographer. It's just like, I'm coming at this through the lens of like a brand photographer who's worked with 300 people. I've coached dozens and dozens of brand photographers. I've done dozens and dozens of reviews for websites. 
And it's like, I know what works <laughs> and I want to help you. Like, that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. I literally am going to be honest with you because it's for your highest good. Like I want you to grow. I want you to be able to, um, make these changes. So thank you. If you've been, um, willing to receive feedback and one last reminder here about flourish is we are starting my flourish mastermind in November, which is very soon. And for the next two weeks, it's early bird pricing. So now really is the best time for you to go fill out an application. I'll send you more information to see if it's a right fit for you. Because if you do decide to join, you save money now, you get bonuses. It's just a great time to enroll before the holiday season. So you have accountability, you have focus, you have a coach, you have a roadmap, and you have accountability, you have skin in the game to keep moving forward with your business, even in a busy season, even over the holiday season, you know? So I'm really excited that this is starting soon and I'm excited to see who applies. So, okay, now we are hopping into the first website. Sorry, I talked so long guys. <laughs> okay, our first website is Tracy. So I went in order of who sent their websites in. And I actually have, I don't know if you guys use like, oh wait, I'm going to use my phone. I have a timer. I'm doing five minutes per website. I'm going to go pretty quickly just so I make sure I get through everyone and I'm able to give feedback for everybody. Because also like just seeing different websites for you all watching this, it's going to be so valuable to see different approaches from other brand photographers and see how they do it. Okay. Woo. I'm getting hot. Okay. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> I was standing up. I'm ready to sit down. Anyone else have a standing desk? I love it. I need to use it more. All right. Our first website, Tracy. Okay. So here we have Tracy Greg Wire Photography. What I love is, boom, she's got the pop-up right when you go to her website. I have this too, where you're giving them an opportunity to enter their name and email and get a freebie from you. And hers is five tips to elevate your brand visibility. I think that's great. And this goes along with um, Blessing's question of like, what are good freebies for a website versus social media? I mean, I wouldn't overthink it, but what I would do is test Blessing. So it's like test one freebie out for a month and then maybe test another one for another month and see the conversion rate. Because you can see that in terms of how many people landed on the pop-up and how many people actually converted. Because then you're going to know like which one works really well for you. Sometimes we need to do the testing. And what I love about this is like brand visibility. Like obviously it's just like so perfect for her ideal clients. Like female entrepreneurs who I already can see she works with from those first three pictures I see. One, two and the background, it's like, of course they want to be visible. Like, and I love this brand promise she has here, be visible, inspire trust and uplevel your brand. It's simple. It's to the point. It's exactly what I want as a business owner. So I'm like, yes, yes, yes. That's what I want. And she has a beautiful photo here. Um, I'm just going to look at all her stuff up here. Home, fact, services, meet Tracy, reviews, contact, rent the studio. Oh yeah. She's got a studio too. So I, I know Tracy, she was in my mastermind a few years ago. So, um, I know she's an incredible photographer already. I haven't looked at your website for a while, Tracy. So I'm excited. Um, I don't know if you're on the call, but if you are, hello. Um, so I love this kind of click through slideshow, giving me a feel for, her different or like what her photography is like. We do want to lead with really strong visuals. So already from her website, I'm seeing like so many photos, which I love. I think there's some of these that are better than others, Tracy. Like this one of this girl, she looks so radiant, but the lighting in her eyes is not the best compared to like most of your other photos I see, like all your other photos. It's just like, it's dark. Um, there's no catch light. She's got the circles. It's just not as good of lighting as your other photos I'm seeing here. So maybe take that one out. Um, we want to be consistent with the lighting. People want to know what they're going to get 
right? And I also see like, like this guy kind of sticks out to me just because he's like in a imaging, he's like a doctor, right? He's some kind of doctor. Um, I think it's, I think it were it, it works. You could keep it, but you could also just like have that in another gallery somewhere. Um, or like what I do is when I get specific inquiries from people like who aren't maybe my ideal dream client, I'll send them a separate gallery. Like, Hey, I've done a project like yours in the past. Like here's some examples when I, and that's part of my sales process. When I reply to them is sending a couple links to specific galleries rather than feeling like I need to put every single type of client on my website. I really want to speak to one specific client, like with the website. And I love this photo of you, Tracy, and how you, um, I can, oops, this isn't clicking. So we'll want to fix that. You always want to go through and check all your links. Cause I'm, I want to click here. It's not letting me, but I'm sure it goes to the about page, meet Tracy page. She's got reviews, which is great have questions, how to contact. So what I don't see, oh, you have down here in New Hampshire. You have a little bit, but I was going to say, I know you're traveling right now, Tracy. So maybe that's why you don't have where you're located on your first page. That could be why. Um, I didn't see it here. So um, that's probably why you don't have it. Cause I know you're traveling and doing like travel sessions, but maybe considering just having like New Hampshire based so you're still like ranking there if you do have plans to move back there and be there. Um, it, so you're still like able to be found in your SEO there. And then like right here, I'm seeing, okay, we're almost at five minutes now. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. I'm seeing, um, she says, take your business to the next level with my visible all year program. So she's done a great job at branding her offers and talking about the visible all year, which goes with her brand promise up here, this theme of be visible. Um, so that when I go to her services, okay, it looks like her services are separate pages, events, commercial headshots, personal brand photography, which I like if you are going to offer all these different things, I do like having separate pages for them. So I would recommend that. Um, that way it's like, if I know I'm doing personal branding, I don't need to look at these other options because it's only going to like distract me from like what I'm here for, which is personal branding. Um, and so I love that you have a starting at number. I do that on my website too. Um, and that way it, it does kind of weed out people that are not going to be a good fit for you and can't afford you at all. Like <laughs> who aren't ready. They're just not ready to invest yet. Um, it's, it's nice to have like a starting price. You don't have to have it. You can have your prices. You can have no prices. You can have a starting price. It all works. It just depends on your strategy. Like how many leads you want to get in. If you're pretty busy and you don't want to get a ton of leads that aren't qualified, um, you might want to have your starting price. Yeah, I love this branding story sessions versus visible all year program. I know you, you know, we've created the subscription. You have that for your clients and you've done a lot of subscription clients in the past. You've had quite a few who do that. So I love that you still offer that. Um, and she's got this like call to action button. I almost want to say, Tracy, some of your buttons like, cause you have so much font on them. They're kind of like getting lost. It's a little bit hard to read, like smaller. I would really make, maybe do like less words on your buttons and really make them a little bigger, really make them pop. I do like that you're using that pink color for the buttons so that that kind of helps them stand out. Um, and overall, I, I just love all, all these photos I'm seeing. So, so good. So beautiful. One thing that I'm wondering, I love seeing this big variety of all your clients, but I'm wondering, Tracy, if you have any specific galleries, like if I'm going to book a brand photographer, I really want to see, like I was saying, like a full project beginning to end. So I wonder if you have this, do you have a, looks like you don't have a blog that I'm seeing. So that would be great to add Tracy, add your blog, add some galleries of clients that have, um, like, so I can see more of a full session and you don't have to do a ton. Maybe you feature like three clients, three clients. And maybe those are your first three blogs of like, here's, you know, a client session. Here's 
20 to 30 images from their session. So you can really see more of a full session. So I can see, cause I, I've seen your full sessions, Tracy. So I I'm, I'm like, I've seen your full sessions with your clients and you do incredible as a personal branding photographer, like getting that variety of like prop shots. You're really good at storytelling. You're really good at, um, different, you know, getting the different crops and different things people need for branding, but I'm not seeing that here because I just don't see a full project. So I think it could be really powerful to pick like your top three clients and either have them as like featured client gallery down here or have them um, and or have them in a blog post. Yeah. And then I'm just going to look at your contact page because this is another like really important page. <laughs> Schedule a phone call that we all need. We all need a contact page. Um, schedule a phone consult here, email me here, call me directly. So I am curious why you don't have like a um, lead gen form, Tracy, that goes to like HoneyBook. I would add that as soon as you can, because I mean, like this is okay, but sometimes like people aren't ready to book a phone call with you yet. They just want to like put in their name and email and get some more information, get a follow-up email with you. Maybe they they just don't know what to say in the email. So what a contact form does that's really nice is it it's like enter your name, enter your email, enter your like, give me a little more information if you want and I'll be in, in touch soon. Like it's really easy for me to just like input a couple things versus like having to email you and like, start from scratch in the email. So you could be losing leads because you don't have that, Tracy. So I want to make sure you fix that. I do love that you have your phone number. That's great. And I, I know you, I actually know that you love getting on the phones like with your clients. And I think you can still encourage people to book a call, but I think like having the contact form, it's also going to organize all your leads in one place. So it's like easy to follow up with people later. Okay. So that was a little bit for Tracy. Hopefully that was helpful, Tracy. We're going to go to the next person. What do you guys think? Are you like getting some ideas for your website? I hope so. Okay. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Hello. I think I saw that you joined the call at some point, Jacqueline. So I think you're here with us. Welcome. Um. So Jacqueline. Images by J. Renee, brand photography. Love. You have this like big, gorgeous photo of this woman up here on the very top. You have a photo of you. So already I'm loving your, your um brand design, like your website template and design. Are you guys seeing just how clean, how like modern, how simple but easy this is? Like it's really clear. I can find stuff easy. I don't have to read through a bunch of stuff. She has a good balance of like photos and um, words. And it's like, you don't have a lot. It's pretty short, but in my experience, like a short, simple website can be really effective, especially versus like having too much, which I feel like most people have too much on their website and it's hurting them. I like that it's like pretty simple right now. I love that you have a slideshow on the top. We really want to lead with our photos. I would love to see, well, you kind of have a brand promise here. Let's tell your brand story. So we want to have that like brand promise, ideally somewhere in the first half of the fold, like up here somewhere. Um, but luckily we don't have to scroll too far to see yours. Um, yeah, I think it's it's fine having here actually, because it's like you're you're telling them, I, I can help you tell your brand story. This is what I'm going to do. I'm passionate about bringing brands to life through eye-catching imagery. I've been behind the camera for 15 years. And in that time, the need for content has skyrocketed. So you're starting to kind of educate a little here, um, which is okay. I just think there's there's better things you could use this to as an opportunity to say, like, your brand story. Like when we write our brand stories, it's essentially part a part that we're kind of like taking from our, our own story, our own journey along the way. And it's something that's going to like resonate with our ideal clients. It's something that's going to get them empowered, connect, feel connected to us, inspired to work with us. You know, the main things we want our work, our website to do is inspire confidence in our clients that we're the photographer for them. Number one, confidence. And, you know, that's part of that is communicating your value. 
And the next thing you want it to do is connect. Like that's why personal branding is so important and to have your brand, your personal brand really leading on your website. Like Jacqueline has done so good here because I want to feel connected to Jacqueline if I'm going to book her because brand photography is vulnerable. I'm going to be on camera with her for hours and hours. I'm giving her thousands of dollars. I want to feel like I like this woman. <laughs> and so that's why it's so important to connect, connect with our clients to the website. And the last big thing like of your website I'm looking for when I'm going through these sites is clarity. Is it really easy for me to find stuff? Is it obvious like what I can expect from you if I do decide to work with you? I love that you have the contact form down here on the bottom. Why not? You know, why not have it here and have it here? I, I love when people, we should have our contact form a couple places on our website, like the bottom of the about page. We should always have a contact page. We should have it. We could have it on the homepage. Like uh, Jacqueline has it. So I like that. Let me click through contact. Let's look at, Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's the form. So yeah, your contact is ready. Contact me below and we can begin discussing a customized strategy plan for your project. That's great. And again, like don't overthink some of the copy. She could have said multiple things here. It's like, whatever. It's like, basically reach out to me. How, say that in a way that feels really authentic to you. And then I like that you have just enough here. You have like name, email, phone number, How'd you hear about me, which is important for tracking. I have that, that too. That's how I know how many leads I've been getting from Google. How I mentioned earlier is because I have this. And then um, I, ooh, this is really cool how you add in what service are you interested in? So it's kind of like a little wink, wink. Like, did you look at my services? Do you know what my starting prices are? Um, I love that you have that. I haven't tried that, but it's an, I like that it's like an easy checkbox. Um, because we do want to make the contact form easy. We don't want them to have to fill out too much. I would even make this question, Jacqueline, optional because you have the little star, which means it's required. I would just make it optional. I mean, cause I, I have mine optional, but like 99% of the time someone tells me about their project here, you know, I just like, I like the contact form to be so easy that it's just going to be an easy next step for people to, to take with you. If there's too many questions here, if there's too many options, I might not finish filling it out. I might get distracted. I might be like, oh, let me come back to it. And then I don't. So we just, we just want it simple. This is a great example of a good contact form. Good job, Jacqueline. Amazing. So, so far what I am seeing on your website is like only a few clients and I have and that's okay. Let me go to your portfolio. I know you're new-ish to personal brand photography. I know you're not a new photographer, but I know you've like recently pivoted. Um, and so that might be why, yeah, you just don't have as many clients and that's totally fine. Um, eventually when you do have more clients, definitely add them in. And I'd love to see on this portfolio page, same as Tracy, like I'd love to see some individual projects here so that I can really dive into like her full session or her full session and get a little more of an idea of, um, you know, a full session with you. If I'm going to invest thousands of dollars, which your prices are, most of them are a couple thousand. It looked like, let me go. To, I think it's on here, huh? Wait, how it works. Is that where your pricing is? Ah. Where's your pricing? Hmm. Is it only on here? I thought I looked at yours when I saved your link and I thought I saw pricing somewhere on here. Is it on your about page? So we want it to be so easy for people to find your pricing. It looks like you're missing that. Unless it's up here. No. I already saw that. Okay. So I would add that in Jacqueline, when you can, instead of how it works, you could have this say services. We want to make things really simple, right? Like, which I love your site is so simple and easy to navigate. Maybe change this to services and you have how it works on there, but then under how it works, you have like your different offers. I'd love to see that. Um, and so weird. Cause I thought I saw this on your website another day, but maybe not. Um, yeah, because then you can add in like those offers that you had on your contact form a little more about each one. 
that would be great. And do you have a blog? Okay, coming soon. So as soon as you can start blogging, that's going to really help with your SEO too. So maybe just start with one a month. Can you commit to doing one blog a month? Just maybe start by blogging those client sessions you've already done and you can do a feature blog for each of those clients. And then that way people can come to your blog. You can share these blogs on social media in your newsletter. You can repurpose them to show like what a full session is like working with you. Awesome though, Jacqueline. I think this is looking really, really good. And I, it's just like so beautiful. I would book you. <laughs> like if I came to this website and I looked through these photos and I needed personal branding, I would book you. I would book Tracy too. I forgot to tell Tracy that, but I would totally book you. So amazing. Okay. Number three, here we go. Mariah. I think Mariah's on here too. Hello. Hello. I'm so excited. Okay. Here's Mariah, the lost art photography, Wisconsin brand photographer. Ooh, she's got her. Ooh. And then she's got it again here. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, personal brand photographer. Okay. So you get an A plus Mariah for having your, your city, your location, which will help your SEO, you know, already twice on this top fold of your website, which is great. Um, Elevate your business with scroll stopping brand images that deliver real results. I love that brand promise. It's really clear to the point. It's what I want. Like it's hitting on my pain points and desires because I want to be scroll stopping. Who doesn't want more engagement on social media? <laughs> and then I want real results. I almost feel like you could maybe dial that in a little more, deliver real results. Like, like, is it make more income? Is it like, is it book more dream clients? Like, although this is still good because this does leave the door open of like, depending on who's reading this, it's like they might have a little different goal. So yeah, I like it. Um, I love this that you're showing right off the bat of variety. I would maybe, this girl, I would maybe take it out only because like her hair is a little all over the place. She's got the frizzies, unless you want to go in and retouch this photo and then add it back into your portfolio. But remember, we just want those portfolio images like so dialed in. I'm not a big fan of a brick wall myself. I think it's a little kind of outdated and not as like elevated looking. So again, if we're wanting to attract like elevated clients, raise our prices, hit six figures, we might want to go with a different background on our brand sessions and in terms of like what we're showing in our portfolio. This is really fun. Is this a wedding photo? I, I am like, or is this, is this a girl's group? This could be a girl's group. It came up, I, it came across as like wedding vibes at first, but now that I see what they're wearing now, I think it's like a, a girl's networking thing. So, okay. It can stay. It's a great photo. We just want to be so dialed in about like who we are attracting with every single photo. Love this woman in the pink blazer. I would love if, if you have one where she's like looking at the camera, walking forward, I would choose that one over like looking to the side for these like main photos on the homepage. We want to really show that connection. Like these are great. Like this woman, eye contact, this woman, eye contact. It's so good. Love it. Okay. So brand photography, headshots, content creation, digital marketing. Whoa, girl, you have an agency, don't you? That's amazing. I almost thought these were buttons to click on, but that's okay. They're not buttons. And I, I want you to just maybe realign these with the middle of this pink bar. I know that's so picky, but when it comes to design, we want to be like so dialed in right and um this one looks more aligned with the middle with the these two words but I think these others it'll look better if it's like right perfectly centered in the pink Milwaukee Wisconsin brand photography transform your brand from overlooked to unforgettable Ooh, I love that and it's going with your um theme of being scroll stopping is this you I'm like, where's the picture of you, <laughs> Mariah? I'm, 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 I can't think of what you look like up in this moment, but we need pictures of you. Let's see if we go to no pictures of you here. Oh, there you are. 
That's right. Okay. So are you on your about page? Okay. There you are. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're on the about page. I love it. Um, I feel like you could probably put an image of you like a little closer. You feel far away in this image on your about page. Like I think like a three quarter crop is a great image for an about page where I can see into your eyes a little more and, and you're really making that eye contact with me and it feels more intimate and I feel more connected to you because we do want to really be strategic about that. And as I say that, I'm thinking of my website and in like the photo I put on there, I'm not making eye contact. <laughs> I'm, but no, but I have photos on my homepage of me making eye contact, which I don't see on your homepage. Oh, there you are. There you are. I just didn't scroll far enough. Okay. Okay, girl. There you are. This is perfect. I love this photo of you. Yes. And I feel more connected to you in this photo than the one on your about page. So maybe still change the about page photo with a different one. Um, I love it. Get the inside scoop. Goes to your about page. I love that you say your mission. Our mission is simple. We capture the essence of your brand and transform it into stunning images that not only reflect your unique identity, but also helps you stand out in a crowded market from eye-catching um, photography to suit your visual goals. Perfect. And then you talk about your unique approach down here, which I love. I haven't seen that on a lot of people's. That's very unique. I, I think for you, something that will really elevate is when you get your next brand shoot, I almost want you to be like, this looks like you kind of like cut it out. Like you use the background remover in Canva, which is okay for now. It does look really clean, which I like. And like, same thing with this. It looks like you cut it out. That's okay for now. But I think as soon as you can get a brand shoot of you, that's like really curated, really dialed in maybe in a studio, maybe in a home, I guess, wherever you want to be shooting your brand sessions with your clients, that's where it could be. Um, and then you could replace these with, with that new brand shoot. And that'll just elevate your website even more, like your personal brand even more. Um, and then let's go to your branding experience page. I'll guide you through the entire process. Confidently grow your brand, your business with on-brand images. I do love the image you chose here of this woman. She looks very radiant. And she's kind of like going with your brand colors, the pink. <laughs> I do try to pick pictures in my website design of clients that like they're what they're wearing doesn't distract from my branding, my own branding and my own website design. So especially for like the homepage and it's like when you go into my galleries, sometimes they're a little all over the place, their colors, but in terms of the photos I'm picking, on the website, I do try to think about that. Um, I'm ready to book. Name, email address, phone number, love. So I think you're asking them too much here. I would shorten this. You kind of started losing me down here. Like it's a lot to fill out for someone. I'm curious. And like, the thing is, you don't know what, who you might've already lost. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure some people fill all these out, but what if there was somebody who like was kind of in a hurry and didn't, didn't know what to say on some of these and they just like, didn't fill it out. So that's why I like being really simple with the contact form, maybe get rid of, maybe you could make some of these more like optional, which I, I see that you've done. This is optional. Um, maybe just have their name, email, and like you could take out preferred way to contact. I guess it depends on your sales process. For my sales process, I like them to, I like to be able to email them first um, with my pricing guide and with a link to book a call in there. Um, and so, yeah, it's up to you, but I think for sure take like two of these questions out maybe just to shorten. Um, and I, I see that you have your starting price because what I didn't see on the branding experience is much like you going into a lot of, and maybe I didn't go down far enough. Maybe I didn't do this page. I don't think I went this far down. So you have your FAQs here, which is great. 
I think you just don't have a lot about your specific offers on here, which is okay. Um, cause maybe you want to go over that with them in, on a sales call or like send a pricing guide, which is, to, which is one way to do your sales process, your sales funnel, if you will. So I think it's okay that you don't have that actually portraits. Okay. So you have a whole portrait site, which is a little bit different, which is, I like that you have like a whole separate site for it. See, this is, this works. So if you are still doing multiple genres of photo photography, you just want to break it up like she's done here. I think Mariah's done a great job at breaking it up and having this be a whole separate page rather than trying to like mix it onto like one page. But it looks like she's mostly leading with the branding, but just based on her homepage, just based on, let me look at her blog. <laughs> the experience page was mostly branding. It was all branding. And then she has like this little page. You could even hide this or you could keep it, I guess. It, it, I think it's okay to have for now because you're leading so much with brand photography. Like you still feel like you're all in on brand photography and you still feel like someone who specializes in brand photography because you have done so many shoots you're featuring. You have these blogs. I love this. What to wear in your photo shoot. You're going through this. And I think like overall, but one of the biggest ways you can elevate your site right now is probably like taking out some photos. Like this photo is not a great photo just because the lighting's not great. The focus isn't great. I just, it's not your best. It's not your best work girl compared to some of these others. Like look at the amazing lighting here um, and the focus and it, this, I would take this out. I would just really lead with like your strongest, strongest images and like, even here, like the background's okay here, but I don't love the background and the lighting looks a little bit yellowy. So it may, you may, there may have been some other lights on in this um, room rather than just natural light or adding in your own light. That's causing that kind of like a different um, temperature. So I think, I think that's the biggest way that you can really elevate is switching out, getting your own brand shoot soon. That's really elevated. Uh, I love your template. And then like switching out some of the photos and getting really dialed in about like, this is my best work. This is what I want to do moving forward. These are the type of locations I want to shoot in more of, um, and what you can expect to get. Like even this one, do you want to do food photography? <laughs> if you do, you could show this, but you might not need it like in your portfolio um, if you don't want to specialize in food photography. All right. I hope that was helpful, Mariah. I'm going to move on to who's still with me. Thanks for being here, you guys. I'm going to move on to thank you for sharing that earlier, Dahlia. I'm going to move on to Rome. Hello, if you're on the call, Rome, or watching the replay. So we have Rome Creative. Right away, I do love that you have these pop-ups. Oh, you got two pop-ups. Um, would you like my current branding session and pricing guide? Hmm, I've never seen that as a pop-up. That's very interesting. In your email below, and I'll send you the guide and my five tips on how to avoid the five most common mistakes when hiring a brand photographer. Interesting. Okay. I'm curious if this is working for you, Rome, as a pop-up. I've just never seen someone sharing their pricing like that, but it could work. I think that's like, we always have to be experimenting, right? And seeing what converts with like these kind of pop-ups and free guides and seeing what people actually go for. And then we can always change it if it feels like it's not working. I love this down here. Oh, let me just lock my door. Hold on. Here my. Okay. Here the kids with the with the nanny just came inside the house running around. Okay. Uh looking for updated business photos. And you have another pop-up down here. I like I like this. I would do. I would make less words on your pop-up and just make it like a little bigger and easier to read for that. How to be an absolutely confident, how to be absolutely confident when promoting yourself and make connections with your people quickly. 
personal branding photography that's easy and fun for business professionals in an in and around Eagle, Idaho. Okay, love that you have where you're from. <laughs> Absolutely confident. I like that when promoting yourself and making connections with your people quickly. So instead of how to be, because this is as a brand promise right here is meant to be like, this is the transformation you're going to get working with me. I would take out the how to be and say, be, just say be, <laughs> be absolutely confident when promoting yourself and make connections with your people quickly. And maybe instead of your people, like make connections with your clients quickly. That's if you work with a lot of service providers, um, if you work with a lot of products, then you could say, make connections with your customers quicker. And maybe it's like, instead of quickly, it's like quicker, I think for that. And quick turnaround, fun session, look confident. Want to stand out in a crowded marketplace. I understand. I like that you're speaking right to your ideal client, like on their pain points. And I love this photo of you because <laughs> you're making eye contact. It's a great photo. I am a little like, I'm not sure of the background. I guess it depends on the type of client you're working with and, and attracting. Like, I do think it's a cool background and like, I love street art. So I guess if it's part of your story realm, like if you talk about like something with like street art being creative and it's part of your story, it could go. Otherwise we might want to update your brand photos. I'd love to see you like holding a camera. I don't know, sitting like in a different background. Cause the background is a lot. It's a little bit distracting. Like it's a little, it's very vibrant. Um, and there's like these words over here, like that it's like distracting me a little bit from connecting with you. testimonials. Love that you have testimonials. So something I'm noticing is one, I haven't seen a lot of pictures yet of your clients and the pictures I have seen, I think they're okay. I think they could be better, especially like, I like this woman on the right. I feel like that's a great personal branding photo of her. Um, except that, or, and, and then over here, the photos on the left, I don't love these images, mostly because of the background and lighting. I feel like the rooms are a little kind of outdated, not modern. The lighting looks a little like fake, doesn't look like great nat natural light or great, like if you're going to add in light, I use mostly natural light because <laughs> it works for me and it looks really clean, really nice in photos, or I'll use like a flash and just really color match, you know, color correct and make sure that it looks as natural as possible, the lighting. This one looks a little yellowy. This light looks a little flashy over here and you have everything in focus in the background of his photo, which is not great um, because for personal branding, I mean, unless it's part of the story, we don't always need everything in focus. Like maybe that little hat is part of his story potentially. And I would even move that closer to the desk, like the laptop, but do we need to see like the full chair, the full photo and focus? Um, so that's something to think about is how you're shooting some of your photos and just the photos you're picking. I wonder if you have a better photo you could add in here for each of them from their session, a stronger photo. We also want to pay attention with our photos. This is so small, but it, to me, it really adds up and matters in terms of like an amateur versus like really professional personal branding photographer is the tilt in the crops. So like this photo and this photo, the tilt feels like a little bit off to me. Like I would maybe crop it and, and like tilt it a little to the right to get them more like perfectly balanced with the horizon line to feel feel good. And I'm noticing you have different, well, maybe not, maybe you only have oh, all your crops, your horizontal crops are like really, really wide, but then you have some that are more square like this one. And then you have some that are, I feel like I might've seen a couple different vertical crops and like give this square. So try to pick like one standard crop, like a four by six crop, two by three, two by three crop for your photos to really get them looking um, consistent. And just so people know what they can expect from you when you deliver that final gallery, like, am I going to get 
wide photos or am I going to get like cropped square photos? You know, when you give me my gallery, I don't know. So I want to know what kind of crop I'm going to get. And I'm noticing with a lot of these, you're, you're really cropped in. I'd love to see some more full body. Like this one would have been so cool. This guy playing the gu guitar to see his full body for this shot and get his feet in, especially this like down up angle you were at. I like doing the down up angle and typically it, it depends on what I'm shooting, but typically getting like a little farther away to capture that. And I don't know if maybe you were cutting out, it looks like there's some clutter maybe down here you were trying to cut out, but where it's cropped on his ankles, it just feels a little bit um, weird. It's just not the best place to crop. And with her, your borderline, you're almost, you almost cropped a little bit too high for her. You know, for women, we really want to crop below the, like on the waist, like the, the smallest part of a woman's waist. We don't want to crop through the chest because it'll make them seem bigger than they are. And you kind of take away those curves. So just by kind of like refining your crops a little bit, I think will really help elevate your portfolio. And I don't know if we need this guy <laughs> with his like, like full chest shot. Hey, don't get me wrong. He's fit. Like he's like, he, he looks like really fit. Okay. But I'm like, I feel like, and it could be like the crops also throwing me off of this photo. I think, and he's like a little squinty into the sun. Like, I think it's just not the best photo to have on your website. I would take it down. I like this, that one of this woman at the desk, you just fix the tilt. I like the other woman on the phone. And I wonder if next time, instead of this location for somebody like a working shot, like this would have been great. I feel like if it was in a different location, different background, different lighting, um, maybe you could have used like, what was the other, um, like side of this room? Cause I see there's a big window here and I wonder, it almost looks like there might be a big window over here. And maybe you could have got up over here with a wide lens, like a 35 or something and caught, caught him this way. Maybe the background was more simple back here. You could blur out. I'm just curious about that because this whole background is distracting to me. Otherwise, I think it would be a great photo. Like the locations we choose are so important, you guys. So, so important. You deserve photos you love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. We deserve photos we love. I love that. Um, I love that you have a link right to your Calendly. That's great. Let me look at your contact page, Rum. Okay, so you have the, the Calendly. So you could do it this way. This is okay for now. I think eventually if you get like a honey book, like a contact form, that will be a stronger um, way to capture leads and getting their email address and then being able to reach out to them with email, maybe getting a couple details about their project first. You know, when you invite them to like tell you about their project in the contact form so that you're going into the call with a little bit of background and you can even like research them. I totally do that with my clients um, when they, I think they do, I can't remember. I think they do ask for a website, but I totally um, do a little research before going into the sales call. Cause otherwise it's like someone could book a call with you and you have no idea. Like <laughs> You don't even know for sure if they want a photo shoot, which I think is hard to like mentally prep and go into the sales conversation when you don't know any of that. So I do love this. I'm Rom. I'm the main, the main photographer here at Rome Creative. I get it as a business owner. There are millions of things you need to do each day. The last thing most of us want to do is have our photo taken. My goal is to make your photography process stress-free and, and most of all fun. I'll work with you closely to understand your vision, make sure every detail is captured quickly. Perfectly. Sorry. <laughs> My create by creating a personalized approach to each client session, I will give you the images you need to stand out and connect with your clients. Let's chat and see if we're a great fit. I love that. I'd love to hear a little bit more about your brand story, Rome. I feel like I don't know that much about you from that. Um, but that's something you could totally work on, refine, and you could add more to your brand story. So thank you for letting me review your website. I hope that was helpful. Thank you, thank you to all of you who are still on the call and no worries if you have to hop off, you will get a replay as long as you joined the event. Um, and I know Dahlia has been dropping the links in for you. So thank you, Dahlia. 
Maybe we'll drop it in one more time. Make sure you join the event so that you get the replay and you're going to get like the bonus lesson and workbook from me on that will help you write your brand promise and your brand mission statement that you'll definitely want to add to your website if you don't have that. Um, yeah, thank you, Dahlia. Awesome. Okay, so the next person we're doing is Christy. And then we're going to go, we're going to do Christy. We're going to do Karen and Tiffany after that. We're doing seven today. I told you five, but I'm going to get to seven for you so that you have, what happened? Is this it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. There she is. Okay. So we have Christy. This is actually going to be a really fast one because I looked at your website, Christy, and it's pretty simple right now. You don't have a lot on here. See, this is the whole page, but you know what? I just want to start by giving you props. Like you have a website girl. That's amazing. And I remember my first website was so simple. It was like one page. I did not have that much on it. It was like, it reminds me of this, to be honest, like it reminds me of your website, but it's like props to you for just getting out there and for saying like, this is what I'm doing. Like I'm here to serve you. It begins with an idea. Maybe you want to launch a business. Maybe you want to turn a hobby into something more. Maybe you have a creative project to share with the world, whatever it is, the way you tell your story online can make all the difference. So I love that you're just like getting out there and putting, sharing your work. And this looks beautiful. Like I love this photo of this woman. Um, digital marketing, videography. The one thing I will say graphic design. Okay. So this is your design, not your photography and photography. You are offering a lot. <laughs> you are doing a lot, girl. So you are what we call a generalist right now, which is okay. But typically what we want to do is really pick one or maybe two things for you and like go all in and really position your website, like for that one thing. And then from there, once you get really specialized, really confident, you're raising your prices, you're booked out a few months, you're getting leads, you're getting referrals and if business is flowing and you're like hitting your income level, that's when you get to add the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So I'm all about being multi-passionate as you guys know, like I do brand photography. I'm a freaking business coach for photographers. I make courses. I, it's like, I do all these things, but I, I started with one thing at a time and I really grew the brand photography part until I was able to make steady income in that and feel really comfortable with that in my client systems and have a great website and everything felt pretty good. And then I added, you know, started coaching and then I started my first course and then I did my second course and now I have multiple. It's like, I would almost encourage you to just like niche a little bit more right now because even from just, and let me click in before I say anything else. I want to look at your portfolio. Taking an image, freezing a moment reveals how rich reality truly is. Commercial documentary style photo shoot for Arc Rock. This is a really cool session you did. Wow. I love this. Um, Mag, would you share your screen, please? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for unmuting and saying that. <laughs> Thank you, Vonda. I knew it was you too. I know your voice. Okay. So let me back up then. This is her website. And like I said, it's very simple. And she's she's sharing on this first page that she offers digital marketing, graphic design, videography, and photography. So it's a lot. Um. I love this gorgeous documentary photography work. This is amazing, girl. It, this looks like it should be like in a movie. This looks like it's your storytelling is so, so good. I love the mix of like detail shots and, and telling the story and port this portrait. Um, I love this. Wow. And then let me see this one. Okay. So you got behind the scenes. These are great. You are so good at storytelling and documenting. Wow. Beautiful work. Travis Scott. That's awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. Your portfolio you've done on just some really unique projects. 
Nice live event photography. So if I feel like you've done a lot of documentary, you've done a lot of events, you haven't done maybe as much personal branding photography. If that's the the direction you want to go in, one of the best things you're going to do for you and to really like speed up your progress is create, do a portfolio building session. And maybe you strategically pick three people to do this with and four. Um, maybe it's either highly discounted or free. Um, and you pick one location that is like your dream location to shoot clients in, like the locations that you want your clients to be renting. Um, and then you invest, you know, an hour or two there and you do three mini sessions for people and boom, you have a personal brand portfolio that you can then sh put on your website and start to book more personal brand clients. Maybe you don't want personal brand clients though. This is me making an assumption because maybe you do just want to do more. Um, cause right here I'm seeing product businesses, um, your video is unavailable though. So make sure you fix your links. Looks like you did this tutorial. It's like, if you want to do more work like this, then show more work like this. I think with your website, it's like, I would almost have like four different websites, like maybe, or maybe you could put your videography and photography on one site because it kind of goes together. And I realize like all of this kind of goes together, but I just think right now it feels all over the place because you have like almost four different websites and you're trying to put it on one. Um, so I think really narrowing down your client, do you want to do more, um, social media management right now, or like in your ideal world, your dream world, would you rather do more photography, videography? Like what is your dream client? What do they do? And starting to really curate and speak your website to that person. Um, and I would love to see a photo of you. I don't see a photo of you on your about page or your contact page. We should have a photo of us on both the about page and contact page. So when I'm filling out your contact, I feel like I know who I'm going to talk to and I can see your beautiful smiling face, ideally with your camera, ideally some gorgeous personal branding photos of you with your camera, doing what you love or some behind the scenes shots of you with your camera would be great. So that's what my thoughts are on your website, Christy, but congrats. Like you have your website up, your photography looks amazing. I think for you, it's really just, it's your time to like choose up and really define your brand and who you want to work with. Who's that dream client. And then creating a website just for them, creating services and offers that's just for that person, naming your services and offers for them you know, um, really creating that custom experience because when we have a custom experience that from start to finish is like perfect for our dream clients, like that's how we're able to increase our price. That's how we're able to charge more because we like start to finish have curated and created this really custom experience that's going to serve them that specific client right? Like everything from the website, the brand questionnaire, your sales process, like all of it is dialed in for that person. All right. We got two more. We have Karen. So excited. Okay. Karen, I have to say, I looked at your website last night and I was like, oh my goodness, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Your photos. Look at these women she captures. And just like the energy and the way she captures them. Beautiful, beautiful work, Karen. They all look so confident. Um, it's like, it's like, it's very, um, I feel like refined comes to mind when I look at your photos as a feeling that I get from your website and branding. It's very like your, your women look confident and also relaxed, you know, in the photo. So your ability to capture your clients and your posing and photography is, is gorgeous. And all, every photo that I see when I go through your website, I'm loving, like, I feel like it's all very high quality work. It's very consistent. Like the lighting you do and you do a lot of studio. I see, um, 
but I can, I already get a feel for like what the experience would be like working with you. Thanks to these amazing before and afters that you have. So she has, um, before and afters here, same day transformations of her clients. So I'm assuming you assist with like hair and makeup and arranging that in wardrobe. And I'm guessing they probably like come and get everything done at your studio, which is so fun. And I love like the fact that you're offering this catered custom experience start to finish, like, of course, you're not like going to be charging a couple hundred dollars for this. You're not going to be like a starting price photographer. Right. And I think your, your website speaks to that. I think overall, it's just like, it's looking good so far, but I want to, I want to dig in a little more. I just did a quick scroll so far. As you get older, you need more from a photographer. And so you're really targeting, and I know you have this campaign I saw, that's 50 women over 50. So you are speaking to her through your copy. And this is where, when we are not afraid to niche down and we are not afraid to say who we want to work with and who we're meant to serve and who we're creatively just like lit up to work with, when we have that client in mind, you guys, marketing becomes easier. Writing becomes easier. Making your freebies become easier. Writing your newsletters become easier because it's like, you know exactly who you're talking to. And instead of like, it actually becomes easier and you can actually charge more because you're creating this whole custom experience just for them and speaking directly to them. So, um, I love that you specialize in photographing women over 50 entrepreneurs who are entrepreneurs, like that's incredible. And your work is so beautiful and you've done such a great job showing the value of what you offer without like, it's like, you don't have a ton of work, but like a lot of words on here. You have a little bit, um, you have just the right amount. Like you have the right amount of words and also photos. And remember I mentioned on a mistake I see is sometimes people can have too many photos, or not enough words, or not enough words, or too many words, and not enough photos. And I feel like you have a good balance, and you're showing. I love this like experience shot you have here of the wardrobe that just like makes me feel like I'm there at your studio, and I'm like in the experience, and you're you're taking us through the process. I love it. Um. I will. I, I love these BTS shots you do. The reveal. Love it. I'm sure like you are just booking aligned clients just because you're calling them in with like all these before after photos and speak, speak direct, speaking directly to them. Um, Love it. I want to see, I'm trying to find, hold on. I was hoping to find like a photo of you about, there you are with your camera. Okay. Also loving your about page photo with your camera and you're making eye contact, which is exactly what we need for our about page photo. <laughs> Um, cause it's telling the story of what we do with our camera. Like if we can have our camera in there, I think it's great. Um, I'm also a Canon user. So that's awesome. Um, I'm delighted you're here. I'm a portrait photographer serving Southern California based in beautiful La Mesa, California. I keep forgetting we live in the same exact city in San Diego. I love it. Oh, um, I got to come to your studio girl. How have I not been in? I'm going to come visit you at your studio. I'm going to randomly surprise you one day um, and come see you. I specialize in helping regular women create photographs of themselves where they feel and look beautiful. After the age of 40, we feel our youthfulness slipping with every year counted and tend to see only the imperfections that stare back at us from the mirror. It doesn't have to be that way in your photographs too. Almost every mature woman has had a session with me, has left with a refreshed sense of herself, a spring in her step, and most importantly, a newfound confidence and being okay to be seen in the world again. You may not know the way you polish off and show who you, you may not know the way you, the way to polish off and show who you are in front of the camera, but I do allow me to teach you. So I love it. It's like you, you didn't even have to share a lot of like your personal brand story because it's, it's like you're, it's like the woman who's also your ideal client. Right. Um, 
is like, I'm assuming you're over 50 only because, and maybe you're not, you don't look 50 Karen, but the reason I'm assuming that is just because like your branding and like how you are speaking directly to her and just through this like, um, paragraph here, oh, it looks like after 40. So you're definitely over 40. It's like, you're telling your story, but in the eyes of your ideal client, which is, which is the ideal way to really tell your brand story on the about page is, is doing that and, and telling a story, not just like educating, not just telling them why they need it, but like telling a story. And that's, that's what you've kind of done here. So yay. I think the only thing, uh, like the main thing I would say, the way you could upgrade your website, Karen, is like the design is, the design's looking like in some places, it's looking a little over the place, like kind of like here. I don't know why these are so spread out. Maybe it's just on the desktop view, but it feels like this is kind of over here. This is over here. Like there's a few areas throughout your website where I'm seeing that like the design feels, um, it feels like it could be dialed in more, just like a little more like um, elevated, modern in terms of the design. But overall, it looks pretty good. Like the design, like I love this top part looks really good. There's just like a few blocks like this that feel a little disconnected. So maybe there's some some adjustments you can do to like this one. Let me go to the gallery really quick. That'll be the last page we do. Couldn't find the gallery. Okay, so check, check your links. Don't worry, this happens all the time. <laughs> links break for whatever reason or something happens. So just always go through you guys and like maybe you have a client do it. Maybe you have a friend do it. Maybe you, I don't know. Maybe you give a client like extra photos on their next session to go through your website and just make sure and get their feedback, get your client's feedback on your website an ideal client and have them make sure all the links work. Something like that could be really great because it's easy for us to miss it. Um, and yeah. Gift certificates. Love it. Yeah. Like they're feel like, see like this, there's an extra big white space here. There's an extra white space here. Like it feels like some places the design could be dialed in more right here. There's like these, the, the fonts are different sizes. Um, so just really refining your design will just elevate your website a little bit more. And it just like, it's just this like subconscious thing that makes me trust you more. It makes me be like, Ooh, this woman's got it together. You know, I can count on her. So that's, that's the one thing I would work on updating. And then, um, yeah, amazing. I'm going to move on to our next person who is Tiffany, our last person today. Thank you for hanging in here. If you're on the call, um, and Tiffany Tanowski branding photography and video. Um, so you're in Missouri. I see that from you here. Um, and Ozark, Springfield, Ozark, Jefferson City, Montana, um, Montana and beyond. Is that, no, Missouri, <laughs> Missouri, duh. Okay, so I don't know Missouri like that, but I'm assuming these are all like somewhat close or at least you're like wanting to target all these cities and that's why you have them here. Um, so that's great that you have that and you have some beautiful photos right from the start. I'm Tiffany, personal branding photographer and videographer, helping female professionals create quality content and make their brand stand out. I love that you said this. This is what I've said too, like base near Springfield, Missouri, but travels for shoots nationwide. I've done shoots here in all these places. Love it. Gorgeous. I love these two photos you chose here of these women. They're just like very radiant. Love the eye contact. The lighting's great. Does this sound like you? So you're speaking to the pain points and the desires of your clients I'm ready to help you do that. I want to click through here. Let's get started. So it's always great to like link to a, like your contact page or um, a couple, like at least once, but maybe a couple times throughout the, the full scroll of your main homepage. Like we want calls to action. We want buttons. We want them to click around. That's, we want to take them through this experience as they go through the website. And that's the point of like the buttons. 
Why do you need quality photos? So one thing I am noticing though, is like your design could be dialed in a little more. I don't know if it's just my eyes, but like, like this button here is looking like a little different size than this button. And like the words are like, there's not enough, as much spacing around this one. Like it, it looks a little DIY, the design where I feel like you could dial it in a little more and like all these little nuances in our designs, all these little details really add up. So we want to make sure it's just like, so dialed in. I don't know if you used a, a template or if you, um, did it yourself, Tiffany, but like, it would be, oops, it would be great to, if you have a template, like use the template. Sometimes we have to like reset the template, how it was. Sometimes we have to like try to do the exact amount of like similar amount of words. So it fits good in some of the blocks and it looks how the original designer, professional designer really intended it to look. So we just want to like watch for some stuff like that. Like some of these testimonials, I feel like it could have a little more like white space around it in terms of the box. Um, so it'd be easier to read and not feel like so many words all at once with the testimonials as well. I'd love to see like one at a time and then um, have a picture of the person next to it. So I could connect with that person. So maybe you can turn these into this whole block, like a slider block where it's like a picture of them testimonial and it slides to the next one. Why hire me? When you hire me as your photographer, videographer, you're getting someone who specifically specializes in the industry and doesn't bounce around doing a bunch of different things. I've spent a lot of time and have invested in learning as much as I can about personal branding photography world. And I would love to help you plan and execute your vision for your photo shoot. So I love that. I think it's, it's okay. I think what I would love to see instead is more of your brand story. And maybe you get into that right here or on your about page. Like, I just love to see more of your brand story. You don't have an about page. Okay, girl, we need an about page about you a little bit and about the brand and about the mission. Like people definitely want to see that. I think it's like the second most visited page on the website, even for photographers, even over your portfolio, the about page is typically receiving more clicks. So people do want to see that and they want to read about you and they want to know your why, your mission, who you are. They want to feel connected to you um, before they hire you. So that's what I would definitely add in here for you. I feel like you're missing. Um, and just like elevating your design it still feels a little DIY, just like this box down here and some of the spacing, it just feels like it could be dialed in more. And maybe it's just a matter of like resetting your template, or maybe if you, if you, maybe you custom did this yourself, which is amazing and it looks pretty good, but maybe you can actually invest in a really great new template that will elevate the design even more for you, um, for that FAQs. And so what you could do is so you don't get so many pages here, Tiffany, is you could totally, um, like instead of an FAQ page, you could put the FAQs, this block on the bottom of the contact page on the bottom of like maybe the home page. Typically it'll be on the bottom of the experience or service page. We typically will want that. Eventually I would add like experience or service and then have your FAQs just on the bottom of that page. So no worries that you don't have that yet, but I think as soon as you can add it in, the better. And same with the about page, as soon as you can add that in. Um, but a lot of your, what you do have on here so far is speaking to me in terms of like, okay, I know she specializes in personal branding. I know she works with entrepreneurs. So if I'm an entrepreneur, like I'm going to want to work with you. Let me just look into one of these galleries. Oh, this is your video work. Okay. What my impressions of this video is that I love it. I love it. And it, the audio doesn't sound great when she's talking and I'm not going to click to all your videos. Maybe some of your other, other videos have better audio, but for that one, I loved the filming you did. The filming and the creativity looked amazing. Um, I think the audio really threw me off. Like I wouldn't hire you as a videographer simply because of the audio. So maybe you, you could have possibly improved that by now. 
Um, let's click into one more video to see. Okay, this one's taking a minute to load. Not sure why that is. Let's try this one. Hi, my name is Tommy Sinclair. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, where I started my real estate career in 2013. Since then, this area, we service from Palm Springs all the way up to Indio and Coachella. Enjoy what I do. But there are a few things you should know about me before choosing to work with me or my team. on the weekends uh, while still working. Okay. So I just want to say this sounds way better than that first one. So you're obviously getting better at the audio. Um, it sounds pretty good. It could be still a little better. I'm hearing like staticky coming, some kind of static, um, but it sounds a lot better than this one. So, you know, just keep dialing that in. Cause if you offer videos, like your filming looked great girl of the videos. And that's like so freaking powerful to offer photos and video. Like, wow, you can make you know, right now you have them kind of separated, but eventually, of course, you could maybe you already have this, but maybe, you know, you can do an offer with, where it's like brand photos and video on the same day. And that is so valuable because not many people offer that. So that is definitely a way you can stand out if that's the direction you want to go and keep offering both, Tiffany. You can stand out. And then if you decide to do that, like I would really change this whole um, front homepage to really position yourself as like, I'm the girl who will get you photos and videos in one day because that is so valuable. And again, there's just not a lot of photographers doing that and offering that. So I think that could be like your niche to really help you stand out even more. And you'd want to talk about it more, your process for both, and maybe your process for how you go about getting both on the same day, if that's something you offer, and that would just make you really stand out. But I'm loving that you put some video clips in here, like on this little bubble that looks so cool. Doesn't video look so great, you guys, on the website? All of us need to add video on our website somehow. <laughs> Seriously, like I have a little bit of video on mine, but I could totally have more video um, eventually I want to get that on my next brand shoot is I want to capture video clips so I could add this to my website. And I think more of our clients are going to be wanting that too. So whether it's something you offer or you team up with a videographer like Tiffany and she can help you or, you know, another videographer, um, I think it's, it's a good thing to keep in mind for your clients as something you could, you could do for them. So Tiffany, overall, I think you're doing really, really well. I think you can start to make some of these updates and changes. Um, and it's going to help you even more stand out in your webs on your website and get more inquiries, which let me look at your contact form one more time. So I think the contact form is good because it's so simple and it links to obviously like your CRM or something, which is great. I think, again, the design just was throwing me off. Like the design looks a little DIY, which is so common. I see it all the time. So I think that's your next step is getting a, a better template um, and just like doing a redesign, a rebrand. Okay. Woo. What the heck was I thinking when I said I would keep this under an hour <laughs> or two, about an hour? Of course not. Of course not. Like... Website, like we, so again, we do this in my Flourish Mastermind, like once a month for everybody. And it usually is like our longer call. It usually is a two hour call. It takes time to really go in there and go through everybody's stuff. So thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for submitting your website. Even if I didn't get to you today, I'll, I can totally do something like this in the future. And of course you have Flourish if you're interested in having support from me every day for the next six months, then highly recommend you apply for Flourish and just, and uh, I'll send you more info and we can have a conversation. Typically I'll DM you back um, with next steps. If I feel like based on your application, it actually would be a space that would be really supportive for you to get to your goals. The application is really to just get clarity on like, what are your goals? And is this even going to be like help with your goals? <laughs> and then if it, if it is, then I'll let you know, like, Hey, here's next steps, here's details, and we can, we can go from there. So there's the link for the application. Um, but thank you for joining me for this uh, six-figure website masterclass in the review. I hope you guys got some good takeaways. 
Oh, Christina says lots of changes to go make right now. <laughs> okay, good. Yay. Amazing. Yes. Thank you. Blessing for being here. Thank you, Marjorie, Tiffany. Thank you for um, just tuning in and working on this with me. And for those of you who submitted your website, like, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you being so open to receive feedback today and, and share this with everybody. And I can't wait to see your changes. If you got a review today or you're making changes on your website, send me a DM. I want to hear about it when you're like, okay, like the new website's up. I made the changes, Meg. I want to hear. So awesome. Well, you guys have a great freaking week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.